That's all I had. I had to do. <laughs> that was clutch, though. I should have kept going with it. Yo, what is up, YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back again with another comparison video. Yes, sir. In this video, we are comparing the Nike Kyrie 6 with the Nike Kyrie 7. Let's get it. Yeah. Big shout out to Pro Direct Basketball, aka The Plug. Yep. Right now, both these shoes are available on Still. the Pro Direct Basketball website. So check out the link in the description box below and live life. Before you do that, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. I need 100 likes in this video. It's that simple. I need 100 likes. We need 100 likes. We do. We're back in this thing right now. More videos are coming, but we're not doing them unless we get what we, what we deserve. Yeah. Make sure you smash that like button. Comment down below your thoughts on our thoughts on the comparison and of course hit that subscribe button and the bell next to get notified every time we drop a new video of course hit us on instagram as well at this is pure kicks that's the same for everything on socials make sure you follow your boys we're now on the seventh carry signature shoe mm -hmm. and it's done amazing stuff i'm mm -hmm. sure if you've seen the performance review you know how well this shoe has done facts Today, we want to see if this shoe is an upgrade mm -hmm. or a degrade from the Kyrie 6. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Starting things off with the aesthetics. Next up, we have the traction. Okay, now over here in the Kyrie 7s, we have the computer engineered 360 degree traction Ooh, pattern. Gosh. Basically CGI, I let my guy Timmy said in the performance review. Over on that side in the carrier six, we have the all seeing eye traction pattern. And if I'm gonna have to be very honest, bro, the point goes to the carrier sixes. It's all seeing, bro, all knowing, all seeing. The traction itself, the way they performed on the court was very, very similar. Very, very. Uh, I feel like the only reason why I give the carrier sixes that nod is because the wraparound is slightly higher on the fourth and the heel. But apart from that, it's very close. It's super Basically close. Basically identical. Isn't it? It's super close. You get the point for wrapping because coverage is key. Yeah. If you can get more coverage and traction, every guard is going to appreciate that and yeah. we're going to do exactly the same thing. So the point definitely edges over to the Kyrie 6. Next up, talking about the cushioning. Both have the exact same cushioning setup. Yeah. Nike Zoom Tobo returns in the Kyrie 7 and the second time in the Kyrie 6. It's, just, it's a tough edge here. It's a tough one, bro. I'm but going with a seven. I am also going with a seven. Even though they're the same, yeah. the weight of this shoe bothered me too much. Yeah, yeah, Now, yeah, I know yeah. that's not quite cushioning, but it does feel that way. The, right. the, the lightweightness of the Kyrie 7 just felt like every step was quicker. Yeah. Everything was more responsive. And I just felt more bouncy in the shoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you add the weight with everything else going on in this shoe, I'm talking everything else going on with this shoe, it just didn't feel the same. Yeah. I also feel like from just from just squeezing the, the, the cushioning from the outside of the shoe, I feel like the phylon is a little softer on the seven yep. than it is on the six. Could be slightly cored out. In oh. fact, if you look at the back there, there's actually some space. A little bit of space. I don't know if that makes much difference, but it does feel like it does. So the point makes sense. Carry seven it is. Next up we have the materials, okay? Now in the carry sevens is very simple. We just have mesh. Okay, and obviously a touch of leather in the heel. Whereas in the carry sixes, we have a textile mesh in the forefoot mm -hmm. with synthetics in the heel. Now, this, the synthetics are, are quite different with each shoe. Yeah. I feel like 90% of them are leather, mm -hmm. and then the other 10 have like these weird different synthetics that carry likes, likes to throw in there with certain colorways. Hill but counter yeah. as well. And hill counter as well, we have, we have this, I guess, this rubber textured TPU material. TPU like rubbery. I mean, the strap yeah. itself is like another TPU synthetic. Basically, there's a lot going on it's in this a lot shoe. Going on. The Kyrie 7 basically went back to basics yep. and did very well in doing so. Exactly. So if you have to give one a score, it's there a 7's it right there. There it is. Real quick, don't forget to like this video. We need 100 likes, so make sure you like this video. Oh, and of course, comment down below what your thoughts are of the Kyrie 7s, if you feel like they're upgrade or a degrade, and subscribe to the channel. And follow us on all, all of our socials at right. This Is Pure Kicks across everything, especially Insta. Indeed. Especially Insta. Especially Insta. Next up, talking about the weight. Now, this one's pretty subjective. It's all facts. The Kyrie 6 comes out of 517 grams, while the Kyrie 7s 
I'm at 469 grams so the points obviously going that way it's a difference you can really feel yeah like from the jump from yeah. out the box just picking them up Oof. and all it makes all the difference when you're on the court as well yes. so that's a point that actually is worth quite a lot hold that yeah hold that now next up we have the fit in both shoes now the fit the fit in both shoes was was good yes above average mm. right but it wasn't great true you know it, it was a bit narrow here in the sevens right whereas with the sixes uh i mean timmy tell him it was still narrow yeah because it's a Kyrie. yeah it wasn't as narrow as i remember as a Kyrie says yes. if we're talking the four foot bands we have the molded fins over in the seven and we have kind of these regular kind of cables in the four foot so both yeah. doing the same job i would say the seven did it better yeah for sure now overall lacing systems are quite similar but again the seven did it better and then back here in the heel and the ankle collar we had a bit more padding over in the seven as well for so sure. the overall experience of in in foot experience is topped by the seven yeah, yeah 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 after breaking them in topped by the seven as well so i think you have your answer yeah i couldn't have said it any better myself this is seven Next up, talking about the support. Now the Kyrie 6 has pretty much everything you need when it comes to a supportive shoe. Yeah. We've got the outrigger shape, we've got the extender hill counter, we've got the midfoot strap, we've got the forefoot cables, we've got the 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 whole overall fit of the shoe. And the materials the as well. The materials as well. Super structured. Structured materials right there. So a lot going on. Damn near too much. But if you're a guard who's looking for a shoe to hold your foot, it has to be the six. This yeah. is indoor, this is outdoor. It really does this super, super well. Teetering on too much, yes. However, over in the Kyrie 7, as you can see, things pull back dramatically. There's no strap, Massively. there's no external heel counter, more of an internal. Outrigger shape still remains. So a lot of things are still ticked. But if we're talking about points, it has to be a Kyrie 6 thing. Yeah. It just has to be. I don't know why I'm holding these up. Yeah, it's a carry now talking about which shoe is better for the great outdoors i think this point goes to the carry sixes agreed i feel like that shoe may be one of the greatest outdoor shoes we've ever worn it's in there bro like it's amazing for outdoors uh the materials are extremely structured so they're very very durable and they feel like they were made for the great outdoors yeah the strap is there the support is there Obviously, the cushioning is very similar, mm -hmm. but still, that shoe just feels a lot more structured and like it's made for durability. Do you know what there I'm saying? There you go. Overall durability, when talking basketball shoes, this one's in the conversation for maybe the GOAT right now. Super durable shoe. That's everything you need it to do. Supportive when we're talking the outdoors. Yeah. Yeah. This, the point is super easy on this yeah, side. Yeah, it's yeah. super, super easy. <clears throat> Lastly, talking about the price. Uh, these are both priced at £115, okay? Mm -hmm. So we have to look at which shoe gives you more bang for your buck. That's right. Which is better value for your money, and I think it's the Carry 7. Swear down! I feel like overall, it performs slightly better than the Carry 6s. I agree with that. Um, it depends, I think, on your, your, your basketball demographic, where you're actually playing. If you're an outdoor hooper, then definitely go with the 6s. Yeah, indoor hooper, for sure, the sevens. So again, it depends, but overall, which shoe performance better, it's the sevens, they're priced the same, so the carry sevens definitely gets But you do get a free strap. You get a free strap. It's not something you can like, detach or anything, it's just there, you have to have free strap. But it is free. But do you need it though? Hmm. Is it about needing though if it's free? If they're both gonna be 115, and this right. one has a strap and that one doesn't, both zoom turbo, but you get a free strap. Right. Is that normal bang for your buck? Look, tell me, you're asking hella questions. We've already decided that the point goes to the to the to the seven. I know, I'm just letting why them you, know. Why are you throwing more things? If in? you want a free strap. Kind of confuse me. You can go with the sevens. Is the point goes to the sevens or not? It goes to the sevens. Alright, cool. You're right. So right guys, taking everything into consideration, looking at all the scores, the Kyrie 7 comes out on top. Six, three. At the beginning of the video, we asked you, is this an upgrade or a degrade? Obviously, it's an upgrade. For sure. Big man thing. They actually pulled some stuff back, went back to basics on a few things, and did it so, so well. The Kyrie 7 is definitely, I would say, the better shoe. But you yeah. just mentioned it's about how you hoop, where you hoop, who you hoop with. So there's a lot of nuances in the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
special. Curry is everywhere. That's everything from us. Once again, big shout out to Pro Direct Basketball for not just hooking us up, but for also hooking you up. Facts. Because all you've got to do is li click the link in the description box below and they will take care of you. That's what they do. That's both of these shoes. Available right now. Both. A couple of these colorways are on sale too, so I'm just saying if you know what demographic you have been... Bro, don't even give them too give much. Give them too much. Bro. Yeah, let them just click that You link, go bro. find out. Click the link. Let us know how you got on in the comment section below. Right after you like this video because you support your boys. We need 100 likes. Yeah. We deserve 100 likes. We're back, baby. So make sure if you're looking at that like button right now and it doesn't say 100, smash it up real quick. If it does say 100, smash it up even more anyway. Keep it going. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. This is Pure Kicks on Instagram every single time. Follow your boys. Keep updated. You never want to miss a thing when it comes to us. So right, guys, that's everything from us. This is the Nike Carry 6. This is the Nike Carry 7. We're Pure Kicks. Let's get it. Boom!